So we're trying to keep track of energy. Now let's answer the question, can work be negative? Let's consider this for the pendulum. So remember, the way we get the pendulum going is just that we do some external work on it. We push it. So let's draw that one more time. We've pushed the pendulum bob a little bit like this because with our hand. Our hand is giving it a little force Fp for push. Right? And we know it's moved it a little bit, delta x, same direction. That's how we get it going. So let's first look at the work on the pendulum, even though we've done that a few times. We can say the work on the mass of the pendulum, say, say it has mass m, would look something like this. Well, it's just that force times that delta x. The work on the mass is fp times delta x times the cosine of the angle between them, but that's zero, right? So the cosine of zero is equal to one. So this is really just the external work. It is positive, this is what we've been doing. That's how you get the pendulum going. That's how you put energy into the pendulum. You come up here and you push it and like that. And there you go. We put energy in. But now let's think about the work on our hand. The work on our hand we got to go back to Newton's third law, right? So Newton's third law said for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So we have an action-reaction pair here. Our hand applied force push on the mass, but the mass applies force push back on the hand. And it's in the, op it's in the opposite direction. It's back. And it's the same magnitude, a little bigger, like that. But the direction, the motion was still this way. So if we go and calculate what is the work um, on the hand, well, it's Fp, force push, it's delta x, but then it's the cosine of 180 degrees. Right? They're the opposite direction. Force on the hand is this way, the motion, the delta x was still that way. Cosine of 180 is negative 1, and what we find is that it's negative. And it's actually the same value as the external work that we did on the system. So what this is telling us is, yes, work can be negative. And it's also telling us that the energy in the universe is conserved. Now that might be a little bit of a leap to you from this little demo and thought experiment to saying the energy in the universe is conserved. But that is what's going on here. Because remember, we said uh, the mechanical energy is conserved for an isolated system. So we said, okay, as long as the isolated system, here we are down here, includes the earth and the pendulum, and as long as we think about the finger or the hand is external, then yeah, you can increase the energy of this. But what we see from this little calculation is whatever energy you put into the system from the external direction, work external, you lose from the rest of the world. Right? So energy overall really does have to be conserved. If we bring some energy into the system, there has to have been some energy lost outside the system. Okay? So let's think about it this way. What if we include me in the system? How would we think about that? Let's see. If I am part of the system, let's come have a look at the pendulum here. If I'm part of the system, so the ball is sitting here, not doing anything. And the system is now the ball, the earth, and me. So we now have uh, three terms in our calculation. We have the energy, and to leave off mechanical, is the kinetic energy of the pendulum plus the potential energy of the pendulum, which is still the gravitational potential, plus I'm going to call it the potential energy of my muscles, right? Because that's really where the energy is, right? We have adenosine triphosphate in our muscles. That's the source, the molecular source of energy. So when I do the work to push this thing, I am going to push it and I'm going to burn some adenosine triphosphate, some ATP, some fuel in my muscles. It's going to take some work to do it. There we go. Now, the energy, the total energy of this has increased. 
right? So now it has exchange between kinetic and potential as we've described, but I have a little bit less. I burned a little energy to do that. Recall, I have a lot of it. Remember, I won a certain arm wrestling contest. I have plenty, but I just used a little bit to give this energy. So the total system is, so now we have actually, it was completely conserved because we just changed the isolated system to include me in it. But since I am a big complex machine, it's not quite the simple idea of mechanical energy anymore. Now you're getting into some chemical energy and some other ideas. But the point is, just because we bring in external work doesn't really mean we're creating energy. It still has to be conserved. You can keep making the system bigger and bigger to include whatever you want, and it's still conserved within the system, and still whatever you bring in had to come from somewhere. So yes, work can be negative on the thing that's giving the energy. 